Yeah, what do you use this parameter? The mass number, that is E, this one is E, don't think the mass number should be M. As A. This is Z, Z, as the number of neutron. The atomic number is equal to the proton number. In a neutral atom, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons, as I'm just saying here. We demonstrated with this. Aluminium is a neutral atom. Proton is state, electron is state. Aluminium for the mass is not a neutral atom. So the proton is 13, but the electron will become more 10. Why? It has not three electrons. There is a cut ion. So alpha 2 minus is an anion. The proton number is still 16, atomic number. It doesn't change. It has gained two more. So the electron is worth 18. Now let's look at the calculations. Let's look. An element X has atomic number has atomic number of twelve and a mass number of twenty-four. Determine I the number of protons. I I the number of electrons. I I I the number of neutrons. I D identify the atom X V. Draw the electronic configuration. Of X. So that is how our question should look like. Let's go. This is the element X. The atomic number is always here, mass number is here. Okay? Now, the number of protons. Proton is 2. Number of electrons is proton is 12. The electron is also 12. Why? Because in a neutral atom, the number of protons is called the number of what? Electrons. I will ask to find the number of neutrons. So for this, I will quote a formula. Mass number is equal to atomic number plus proton. Number. Atomic number is 12. That is neutron number, right? Plus neutron number. Atomic number is 12. Neutron number, I don't know. But the mass number, I know, to be 24. Right? So 24 minus 12 equals L. 12 equals what? L. It means the number of neutron is what? 12. Are you okay? Similarly, if you are given atomic number and neutron number, you have to find mass number. It's the same process that you go through. Are you okay? Now, identify the atom X. Which atom has which atom has atomic number of 12? That is magnesium. We don't use the number of neutrons to identify the atom. Don't waste your time on that. We use atomic number to identify the number of atoms, not the neutrons, okay? In case the neutron was there, it doesn't mean that it's aluminium. No. Atomic number is always used to identify the atom, not the neutrons. So, that thing there is called magnet lesion. Okay. Identify the atom X. The atom X is called magnesium. Draw the electronic configuration of this. So, every atom has a tiny central part. Did you see that? And there is one, two. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm left with 2, right? Well, 2 plus 8 is 10, right? I'm left with 2 more. So that is 1, 2. My electronic configuration is 2, comma 8, comma what? 2. Okay, so that is all about atomic structure. 
electrical configurations, calculations involving the subatomic particles. <laughs>